I'm glad you are here with us for this weekend devotional at Door Church of Christ. We began thinking and, and have thought about this on and off for the last two or three months. We listen to the political rhetoric and the things that are said and the things that are done. We see things in our capital that many of us see as wrong, see as being unfit. We see things and we project things in our mind and we see destruction and we see hard times and we see difficulties in the world, maybe failures in businesses, failure, failures in uh, the happening, failures in long time traditions in our country. Whatever it is that we are looking toward and seeing as being touched by uh, the hands of these politicians that we often see as unfit, we often see as, as somebody destroying our country. And I ask myself, why do we so often forget the power and might of God? What is it that we cannot get a hold of? Why, why do we look at all of these things and see the fears? And sometimes it's because we don't realize who we are. Maybe we don't realize who we are children of. But if we are the children of God, there are things that we must look at before we look at these political things and realizing that that our real, our real home is in heaven with God. We're here to journey through this world and live our Christian lives doing what God asks us to do, seeking to tell others, seeking to show others his love and his care, seeking to tell others about a Christ who offers an eternity with him. We're supposed to be doing those things. We're not supposed to be living in fear and, and running back and forth and not knowing what to do. You should continue doing the things that you should be doing. That's teaching my word, living a life for Christ. So why don't we? Why, why do we have such little faith in God? Why do we fear so much about living our life here on earth, when we have the availability of God to be with us. We know that the power and might is there. We've read the things in the Bible, and I'm afraid too often we see them as simple storybook stories for children. These things that were put in this book were for us to realize that we have an almighty God, one who cares for us, one who loves us, one who seeks to give us that which we need, one who seeks for us to do his will. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6, he says, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. Casting all your anxieties on him because he cared for you, be sober-minded, be watchful, your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. He said, we're going to face difficult times. We're going to face troubles. We're going to face persecution. Why do we have such a hard time with it? Because the first thing he says, he says, humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God. Give oneself over to that one who has all the might and power. The one who cares for you, the one who seeks to give you that which you need to be able to do the things he asks us to do. We, so, we see so many episodes in the Old Testament where things, where battles are fought. And if we think about this idea of battles being fought, we think about Gideon and the number of men that he had to take on, the, the number of men that he destroyed in battle. And he used only 300 men. You see, it wasn't by his power he fought that battle. 
It wasn't but Joshua's power that he fought the battle of Jericho. It was by God's power that those things were accomplished. And so often we fail to, we, we refuse to look and see that that same power can be used in our life to do the things God calls us to do. To seek, to teach others, to seek to live our lives as a child of God. To refuse, to refuse to let the things of the world involve us so till we cannot, or we will not live for God. We need to remember the power that God possesses and will use in our lives. Psalms 147 verse 1 through 6. He said, praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for he, it is pleasant. And a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcast of Jerusalem. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up their wounds. He determines the number of stars. He gives to them, or he gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord. And abundant power, his understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the humble. He casts the wicked to the ground. You see, God has a time and a place for things to happen. And if we're in the middle of this particular time and place in the happenings that are going on, he expects us to live for him as his children, to seek to do the things for him as his children. Yes, there are times when we see things that or dreadful for us to see. There are times that we have some fear, but that fear should not control us because we live as children of God under his power and under his care. We have to believe that he has the ability, he has the willingness to do that which is needed at the time. We don't have to agree with it. But we will be there. We're going to have to accept it because God is in the one that's in control. He's the one that is deciding what is needed for his kingdom at this time. But it doesn't matter what time or era you live in. As children of God, we're here to do his bidding and live for him, seeking to do his work, calling upon him knowing, knowing in faith, that his power is always with us as long as we're walking with him. Thank you for being here today and may God bless you.